if, if, if there's a, if someone says something, makes a statement, we know that they actually said they, that statement because it's in the word of God. That testimony is true that they actually said that. But sometimes people say things that are not true because they're human or they're in error or whatever. I mean, the Bible records what Satan said to Jesus Christ. And we know that there is no truth in the devil. We know that there is no light in, in Satan, but it still records what he actually said. So if we're going to quote scripture, we don't, we don't quote what the Satan said as, say, as making it sound like that's true, but he did actually say that. Similar, you know, Mary, when they were in, in I think it was Luke chapter 2, when, when Jesus was tarried behind and he was, he was found uh, talking to all the Pharisees and doctors and everything else. And she said, don't you know that, that your father and I have sought thee? Well, she referred to Joseph as his father, which is understandable why she would do that. But Jesus actually corrects her and says, you know, I must be about my father's business. And just because she called Joseph his father doesn't mean he actually was because she made that statement. But when we read what the narrator is saying in the scripture, that comes directly from the Holy Ghost. The teaching that we get from what the narrator is saying in the scripture, it's not man's opinion. It's not just the thoughts of some man of, well, whoever wrote the book of Acts, you know, well, you know Luke or whatever, that's, that's not his thoughts. That is the Holy Ghost. Because the Bible says the holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. That's how we got the word of God. And that narration is uh, solid. We could rely on that as being the word of God, as being... Um, you actually say, Lord Jesus. Jesus is God. <laughs>